Welcome guys to Pro Se Legal School. I'm Coach Neighbors and today I'm here to bring you a little extra punch and power to bring to the table when you guys are, uh, are, are facing a traffic stop. So in today's video I'm going to cover the words that I would use during the traffic stop. Let's just get right into the traffic extortion fraud. Now remember, when we sue them, we're suing the state for the state's day-to-day -day procedures and processes that line that lined you up in their administrative court to be violated again. That's why it's important that you watch the updated instructional videos to figure out how to use the 42 U.S.C. 1983 uh, package that we have for everything. Now, in, in the traffic ticket scam, when the officer signs a ticket for you to appear, he or she is violating the separation clause in the Constitution. Separation clause states that the judicial and the executive branches of government must be separated. But that's not what you need to say first. <laughs> uh, and we're going to get to that uh, in a minute. Now, this video is going to be added to the new playlist that we're putting together on how to stop a court case, how to step, how to step a court stop, stop, how to stop a court case. This is, I mean, you're still, you know, this is kind of a long way. Most of the stuff is that we're gonna have in this video is stuff you need to say in court or, or that you can use in paper or whatever. Uh, but this is kind of a way to stop the court case, like at the get at the at the gate with the officer at the gate. Oh, we're gonna get started and kind of let you guys know what I what words I would be using when the officer approached me. So first off, I would not answer any question, and I would say absolutely nothing to the officer's accusations. Not a word. Either I would do it like this. Okay, M maybe. <laughs> Uh, maybe I'll leave out the last two faces. Uh, yeah, and I would not say a word. Now, one of the things that I always do, being a huge black man, is uh, I always low, uh, roll my windows down. Um, they're tinted. I roll my windows down, and, and if it's at night, I roll my windows down, and I turn on the dome light. Now, I'll tell you right now, anything that you can do to let the officer know that you're concerned for the officer's safety goes a long ways, in my opinion. Now, how long does it go? Well, that helps the officer understand that you're concerned for your own safety too, okay? <laughs> you wouldn't be doing that shit. So that's just, you know, that's just what I do. I don't answer any of the questions. They ask me, did you know you were going whatever the speed? Do you know what the speed limit is? And if the officer puts me to speak, I would let him know that I'm going to plead the fifth right now, sir. My legal team said it's best that I plead the fifth and not say anything incriminating because I'm sure your body cam is recording uh, our conversation and we'll talk about that in a minute. But I also wanted to let you know that I'm not a U.S. citizen. Now, I would quietly hand the officer my passport. That's what I would do first. Quietly hand the officer my passport card as my identification. And that shows that you're not a U.S. citizen. Now, the officer is going to go back to his car or her car and spend a bunch of time back there and try to find you in the system. And then they're going to come back to you and ask you if you have a driver's license. Because we need a driver's license or we need an address where you live so we can find you in the system. And then I would respond to them that I'm not in your system because I'm not a U.S. citizen. I'm a citizen of the Republic State of Arizona or whatever state you were born in or whatever country you were born in. It doesn't matter where you were born or whatever as long as you were not a U.S. citizen. Now here's the thing with that shit. Nobody can be a U.S. citizen because nobody can be born in a fake corporation. There. I said it. <laughs> All this shit is fake. Fake as hell. Nobody can be a U.S. citizen. So you let an officer know that you're not a U.S. citizen. If the officer pushes you to respond to his accusations, you want to inform him that you're pleading the fifth and that you refuse to answer any questions uh, and any further questions without your legal team present and the conversation being recorded by a third party, like someone on your legal team, not just what he has on his shirt. <laughs> So that's kind of where I would go with that. Now, if the officer presses you again for information about where you live or whatever, I would inform the officer at this point that you are not a U.S. citizen, again, and therefore not subject to follow the corporate policies and statutes that 
you are referencing and are illegally enforcing. Uh, some people call them laws, but they're not valid laws because they don't have an acting clause, they don't have a title, they don't have a body. Those are the three things that the Constitution and the federal law mandates must be present for something to, to be a law. So uh, I, 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 my legal team is very thorough on this. I'm not a U.S. citizen, so I'm not subject to follow the corporate rules and policies unless I damage property or injure someone. So the court has no jurisdiction over over me because you're pulling me over. I'm not a U.S. citizen, and as such, my legal team said that if the officer did pull me over and continue to harass me about this after the fact, the officer would be liable for my injuries. And I'm supposed to tell the officer that, that he or she has been placed on legal notice. <laughs> That sounds really damn cool, don't it? Uh-huh. And, and that's pretty much uh, what you want, Tom. You, you have been placed on legal notice. Now, if they want to ask you what that uh, legal notice is, uh, I, would, I would let you know that their decisions from here forward will determine whether or not uh, they'll face um, your legal team in court. And if they ask you more about the legal notice, I would let you know that my legal team said that I could sue you for your assets <laughs> when you violate my due process. And my legal team said that the state's day-to-day -day procedures uh, are, 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 are what violated my due process. They train you with their day-to-day -day procedures to violate my due process. Now, my legal team said that makes it a whole lot easier <laughs> to, win, to win this when I can prove that your day-to-day -day process and procedures um, allowed you to violate my due process. Now, I would tell them that my legal team is very thorough on this, and they're saying that, I mean, I, I don't know. I, my legal team is the one in charge here, but my legal team is saying that I could sue the cop. I could sue the police officer, I could sue you for your police bond or your certificate to be a cop. Now, I would, I would let the officer know that you're in no way making any threats because that, that, would, that would be illegal. And your legal team said to make sure you say that because you don't want to sound like you're threatening anybody. But you're very concerned about your due process being violated by the corporation that's paying you policies that are not, that are not legal laws that that i'm subject to follow and so that that's my main concern and then my legal team told me to let you know to make sure that you understand that i'm just sharing i'm just sharing some facts um, with you that my legal team shared with me and um i i, I understand also that you need to do whatever you think is the right thing to do on this situation and remember the officer's body cam is recording uh, everything that you say and you'll be able to get that recording to use um if, if you need to but i, I don't <laughs> <laughs> when you get done beating them down with my shit, I don't think you're uh, going to need to worry about the body cam recording because um, their day-to-day -day procedures is they can't go, they can't go around and change them. They can't argue them. They can't go around and change them. So they're screwed. <laughs> I don't know. If they can figure out a way to get off among this rock, I'm waiting to see it. And so far, ain't nobody got off underneath the rocks that we're using up in here. So make sure that you get the officer's card and name or something written down from uh, so now. They don't want to give you their card. They want to give you the card from their sheriff or department or office or whatever. And then have them write their name on the back so you can read it. And that's pretty important because that holds their ass accountable for what they're doing. And I would tell them that I need that information. Well, I would tell them your legal team told you to make sure that you get that information for your federal filing. <laughs> and, uh, and see how they like it. Now, if they come back and issue you a warning, I'll just tell you right now. On that warning, it says that you were guilty of doing the offense that's mentioned in it and they gave you a damn warning. So, if they give you a warning, that shit is in their computer that you did that shit, and if you get pulled over again, I'm sure they'll go, oh, you got a warning last time. Huh, uh-huh, yep. So, if you give you the warning, I would, I would tell them, hang on one second. Let, let me look this over real quick. My legal team told me to make sure I look over anything that you give me um, so that I can let you know where you're at before you leave. Oh, wait, no. No, this here says that 
I'm guilty of the offense and 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 you issued me a warning and let me go. So so that means that you acted as a judge and adjudicated me as guilty. Um, while we're standing here on the side of the street, uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, this is exactly what my legal team said you have so to go and try. So I can't. I'm, I already text them. They're texting me back right now. <laughs> Work that. Mm. Work that shit. All right, text in now, oh, man. So I I'm going to take a picture when you leave a copy of your card, um, so I can shoot it over to them because uh, my legal team's like really excited and they 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 are they they're in a hurry to get to work because they don't they don't get to make very much money. <laughs> Um, so yeah, so this is what's going on when you guys get uh, a certain situation with traffic stop. Uh, these would be the words that I'd be using, and hopefully they'll uh, get out of your face and, and, and leave you alone. Now, if they don't, then you need to head over to the website at winningcourtnow.com and get that badass traffic package and uh, and make somebody uh, yeah mm -hmm, do whatever you want. <laughs> Thank you guys for the value of sharing your time. I'll see you in the next video. Uh, stay in the rain, baby.